the scoring breakdown for the Celtics. Right now is their passing game, and it's been on point, doing a great job of moving it around and getting the ball to their shooters. And what's more, they're getting their feet wet down there in the paint early on, not shying away at all, taking it inside. What a great way to start. On the court for the Celtics, second quarter underway. They've got Stephen Curry. He's out there with Butler, and it's Olajuwon in at the five, roaming the paint. Back to Allen. Six on the shot clock. From outside the arc. And the Raptors, another three. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. Curry passes to Olajuwon. Back to Curry. Butler with the ball. From the arc. And he can't connect. He's one for three in this game. Lillard looking around to the inside. Let's go with a three. Ooh, -hoo! Lillard doing damage outside. A less common spot for Lillard, but his accuracy is still undeniable. You know, when we talk about Lillard, we're talking about one of the most explosive players in the NBA, Smitty. NBA, no question, he can light up the scoreboard in the blink of an eye. Not many players in history have more 50-point games than he does. Outside Porzingis. And here's Butler outside. He buries it from three. And it's a nine. Point Celtic lead. The three-pointer opens up so many options for Jimmy Butler. Allen, pass to Garth. Oh, hammer it home! Ooh, that hurt. Oh, I love this guy. Even when they're trailing, he works hard to put on a show. Hey, that might be just what they need right now. Back to Curry. Outside Butler. And it's rejected. There's the three. It's hauled in by Garnett. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Here's Lillard. Rebounded by the Celtics. Bosch has got his eighth rebound here tonight. Butler passes to Olajuwon. Outside for Butler. Pass to Olajuwon. Back to Butler. Here's Olajuwon, defended by Porzingis. And the shot clock expires. 24 second violation. We've got a line change here for Boston. Substitution on the court. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Allen with it. Here's the three. Garnett passes to Abdul Jabbar. Here's Garnett. Forcing his high post. Another shot. Over Anthony. And again, no good by Toronto. And so Anthony will bring it up for the Boston Celtics. Garnett passes to Gilgis Alexander. Let's it fly. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. And when it comes to defining rivalry, Smitty, you think both sides have to win big or is mutual dislike enough? You know, I think B.A. winning really brings the rivalry out. And I think it has to go back-to-back -back, uh, years. Also, a little bad blood doesn't hurt a rivalry when both teams just don't like each other. Count it. Well within range for Przingis. <laughs> the Latvian probably was sinking these since he was young. Let's check in with our reporter, Ali LaForce. Well, Jalen Brown has shown steady development over his career. He said, quote, every year presents different challenges. I think that's the fun part about basketball, that it's not the same. You got to be flexible, you got to be durable, and you have to be able to grow with the game. Brian? Ali, he keeps getting better and better. Thanks for that. Good stuff. Great job setting him up. The timing of the pass was key. After the outside. Davis can't hit. This is the shot you want right at the rim. He just could deliver. That shot wide open. Allen's got six in the quarter. 
Attacking the defense with the pass. Don't need to be a hero. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And slam dunk by Gilgis Alexander. I mean, showing an understanding off the pick and roll game. Vital for a young floor general like Shea Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Abdul Jabbar. Down low. Here's Garnett. And he throws it down with one hand. Oh, save that for the dunk contest. That flush was so extra. Whether or not this game is close, he's the same guy. Focused on finishing firm at the rim. And finished off by Davis. Off the bounce, AD has all options available to him, using the entire court as his canvas to create. An aggressive move to a strong finish. He is just unwilling to settle. He gets right to the rim and makes sure they come away with points. He knocks it down, but wait a minute. The officials getting together here. They may want to review this one. The previous play is under the half time just yet. The officials signaling that they are going to take a look at this replay. Yeah, they're going to review that shot to make sure he got it off in time, but I think it's going to count. After the review, the ruling on the floor is overturned. So the replay was conclusive. Call overturned. Red, that one's going to count. And B.A., you can argue against replay all you want. But at the end of the day, you want it to be a level playing field. You want the call to be correct. And so it's the Boston Celtics with a six-point lead at the close of the quarter. And it's mostly due to their superb shooting. They've wasted very few possessions. We'll be right back after this word. If you're just joining us, we played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Boston has gone four of eight from three, a nice percentage. Pass to Curry. Here's James. There's Davis with the three. It's hauled in by Pettit. It's tough to get open in this league, and when you do, it hurts not to capitalize. And for Boston, we've got Anthony Davis. 
Edwards out there with Stephen Curry. Then there's LeBron James, and it's Garnett in at the power forward position. And once he gets to the rim, it's fairly automatic. Nothing fancy right there. Just takes his two points, moves on. When AD gets that close, he's unstoppable. You can't move him, and you know he's going to score. There's a screen to the middle. And he throws it down. What a terrific lead pass. I'll tell you, at his size, once he gets it in there, it's over. James passes to Edwards. Back to James. Here's Garnett. James outside. The crossover. Oh, LeBron hammers it home. Respect LeBron showing the artistry that other players could only dream of. Inside, here's O'Neal, and he says right back at you with a big dunk of his own. I just love the aggressive finish. Oh, I'm thinking he's sending a strong message with that jam. Curry passes to Garnett, and that one is hammered home. Can you say immediate entry into the highlight reel? Woo, what a tough PA. <laughs> it's showtime now, man. They've built up a lead, and they're starting to rub it in. Davis for the rebound. And so Curry will bring it up for the Celtics. They've led by as much as 10. The shot. Pass to James. Offline with a three. Toronto trailing. Here's Pettit. And some very quick points for him on that possession. Well, we're into the third quarter. Just over two and a half minutes played. James inside. Oh, LeBron hammers it home. LeBron barely needs the pick to get some separation, but he used it well right there. Here's Pippen. Oh, again, Toronto with a triple. Not just a knockdown shooter. He does a great job of finding space for his shot. To the inside. And finished off by Davis. Watch out and watch your head when AD goes up. A little under three and a half minutes off the clock now in the third quarter. And it misses. For Boston, they've gotten five of seven attempts in the third quarter. Curry passes to James. It's intercepted. And out of bounds. Boston will have it. Boston has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. James passes to Butler. Here's Bosch. James outside. Gets a very good look and converts. James has got six. Always a good sign when LeBron is hitting jumpers. Confidence is on the rise. As to McGrady, fires the three, drills it from deep. He made the most of that opening, teaching the defense a lesson. Now here's Curry. He's got six. Right wing, Bosch, the pass to Olajuwon. Just five to shoot. From the top of the key, out to James. Goes back up. It's deflected. Here's McGrady. And the Raptors, another three. They are unconscious from outside. And so far, the defense has had no answer. You know what? They talked about this at halftime. And they're doing a better job of creating space. And plays like that one can make the difference in a close game. And it's definitely got the bench on their feet, too. This is a close-knit group. They feed off one another's energy. His hang time on the rim puts a sweet cherry on top, B.A. It's a close game, and those displays of explosiveness can jumpstart a team. The defense has to get up on LeBron from deep. He's a threat from there. Has to pet it. To the wing on the left. And another basket for Toronto. 
when you look at how they've come out in the second half, it's almost like night and day. <laughs> in this half, a more entertaining one. The pace is picked up, tougher defense, better ball movement. And he's been an ideal teammate tonight. He's really creating plenty of looks with his passing. There has been an emphasis on ball movement, and he's been a major catalyst. Pass to Curry. On the wing, Curry. Puts up a three. And as we finish the third quarter, it's still close. Both teams trading buckets. Celtics out in front, up two. After a quick break, we're coming right back with the start of the fourth quarter. the fourth quarter in what has been a very competitive game. Should be an exciting finish. Toronto's gone 7 of 11 from outside the arc. Nice percentage from distance so far. For three, Hardaway. Boston with a rebound. Man, that's his shot. <laughs> Maybe he was too wide open. And for Boston, we've got Carmelo Anthony. Shea Gilgis Alexander is out there with Edwards. And then it's Anthony Davis, and it's Garnett in at the four spot. And Davis slams it home. Boy, he bodied them inside. Davis isn't shy about fighting for it. Pass to Pippen. And Davis with the block. Now here's Anthony. He's closely guarded. Now Gilgis Alexander. Three-pointer. That shot off. He's guarded by Anthony. And they get it back. Back to O'Neal. Now the Celtics on the move. Tipped. minute and a half of basketball played here in the fourth. Guarded by Edwards. Six to shoot. To the paint. Here's Pippen. Ooh, good finish at the rack off the slick feed. Zero rim protection. Unforgivable in a tight ball game like this. And I love the play call. This is where you get the ball into the hands of your closers, where they can do something with it. Yeah, the guard instincts of Gilgis Alexander. I mean, fantastic work dishing the rock to uncover teammates. Well, if you came here looking for a scoring battle, I think you made the right choice. Yeah, both teams trying to close out strong. These are the fireworks that fans came to see. And Davis slams it home. You can see how locked in AD is at the moment. He's spilling it, and the shots are falling for him. Just over two and a half minutes played now. Final quarter of regulation. Here's O'Neal. 50 move. And the layup is up and in. With a tough road ahead, they worked hard to get a good shot. And that's an intentional foul. You don't want to stop the clock right there. I'm not quite sure what he was thinking. So Toronto ends up going with a new group. Here's Anthony. Pass to Garnett. Now here's Davis. Guarded closely. Here's Anthony. No luck on that one. Good D by Porzingis. And it's Lillard with a ball for Toronto. So far in the fourth, they've allowed just six points. Great look, but off the mark. Yeah, he's kicking himself. No defenders to be found in that mid-range area. Oh, wasted no time on that one. And the Celtics lead by four. Oh, in pressure moments, he's a guy you trust to make big shots. Allen outside, right side Porzingis. Launches it. Edwards pulls it in. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Pass to Allen. There's the triple. He can't get it to go. That's tipped. 
Here's Garnett. He's guarded by Anthony. Edwards comes with a double team. And here's Lillard for three. Allen. Good. And it's Lillard who picks up the assist. How about the pass from Lillard? Good at spotting his open teammates. Inside. Edwards, a pass to Davis. Three-pointer, Anthony hits the three-pointer. Anthony's got five points in the quarter. Clutch performer, Carmelo Anthony. There is a big shot. This one for three. Oh, again, Toronto with a triple. It is dang time. Winning time. Lillard seems to always come through. There's the block. Zingas against Anthony. Lillard outside. Here's Garnett. Yes! There is absolutely no fear in his eyes. He loves the moment. Incredible shot with everything on the line coming through for his team. Outside for Gilgis Alexander. Davis with a screen on Allen. Six on the shot clock. Gilgis Alexander on the wing. Here's Garnett. Off target with the three. Expect them to take their time this trip down. Yeah, B.A., the clock is theirs to burn. And they do have a foul to give if needed. 19 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And looking to even the score time with out, a out. huge three. This is where you want to run a play. Don't just walk it up and heave it. And Boston calls time here. They're down by three. There's 14 seconds left in the game. All right, guys, what's your take? Tricky situation here. They need some kind of bucket to stay alive. Also, interesting choice to be made right here. You need either a three or a quick two and a foul. substitutions here. And time Toronto out, time calls out. time here. They're up by three. There's 14 seconds left in the fourth. Guys, what do you think? They're looking good, but they can't afford to take their foot off the pedal. They have to lock down the perimeter and prevent a three. Changing it up here. So it's Boston now. It's a three point game. To the inside. Davis, the pass to Embiid. Now here's Davis. So it's the Raptors taking the W in a close one. That was an incredible night of hoops. A tremendous finish. They waited until the very last moment to seal it. And so many times we see these close games won by the home team. And that'll do it, folks. For Steve Smith, Grant Hill, and Ali LaForce, I'm Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching this 2K Sports coverage of the NBA as we leave you with the New Balance Player of the Game.